Hey guys, this is Chico Edge. I just wanted to post another video on uh, my last video when I talked about the alien bees. I had mentioned uh, using them with speed lights and how to fire them all off and if you have a limited set of triggers. Um, if you're using strobes, you're probably using some kind of trigger like uh, pocket wizards here. But uh, not every flash can use a pocket wizard out of the box. Uh, here we have an SB600, a Nikon SB600. And right now I have a cactus trigger receiver on it uh, just because the SB600 does not have a PC sync port and so a pocket wizard can't directly connect to it. Now you can do it. There is a uh, adapter that you can buy to plug a, a pocket wizard into an SB600. But if you don't have it, you're kind of out of luck. Um, this is an SB800. Now a pocket wizard can connect to this. And here we have the alien bee and a pocket wizard can connect to that too. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna use a cactus trigger for this just because uh, it'll work directly with the SB600's hot shoe. So just give me a minute to rearrange everything and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just moved the SB600 behind the Alien B. Now in a studio you're, or even outdoors, you're probably not going to be using this setup. Uh, I'm just doing this just for the sake of the video and to get them in the frame together. Now, what if you're in a situation where maybe the bag with your triggers or your sync cord is stolen or it fries and you have three lights. Let's say you need to use this SB800, the SB600, and the Alien B, but you only have one trigger for all of them. Uh, it can be done. As I pointed out earlier, I do have a cactus trigger on the SB600. And the interesting thing about the Alien B unit, this is the B1600, just kind of kicked it there. That sync port where the pocket wizard would plug into, as long as nothing is plugged into that sync port, uh, this becomes a slave. And let me try to move it so you can see it. Not terribly well focused. That is a slave. As long as it can see light and nothing is plugged in there, this thing will fire. And the SB800 has a similar mode. Um, what you want to do is get into the menu and plug it into SU4 mode. And it's the same concept. If it sees light, it will fire. So then you can put your cactus trigger transmitter on your camera's hot shoe, which will fire the SB600. And when this flash and this flash see it go off, uh, they'll go off at the same time. And you can get your job done. So. Just a really quick demonstration, and let's check this out. All right, and both of these flashes will fire in three, two, one. See, uh, it's actually pretty easy, and they just both worked off the single uh, trigger there. Now, this works best in a studio, or if you're going to do this outside, do it on a day that's maybe overcast or in the shadows or in the evening. If you're going to do it in bright sunlight, it probably won't work because you need some contrast between the uh the flash and the sunlight and if it's really bright it may not work uh so if you want to see it with all three let's go ahead and do that and fire all three in three two one so there you have it it's pretty easy uh now cactus triggers you pretty much have to order them from hong kong sometimes you find them on ebay i'm uh, not really much of a price savings there uh they do take a while to get there unless you do uh like second day UPS shipping, but that ends up costing more than the price of the receivers themselves. Uh, but this will work from pretty much anything. If you have multiple SB600s, you can also use uh, like peanut slaves or just any um, hot shoe based optical trigger and it will work. Like I said, you don't want to be out in bright sunlight doing this. Um, it's not going to be very consistent results, but if you're indoors, it should work fine without a problem. So hope this helps. Chico Edge out and I will talk to you guys later.